Welcome, welcome, welcome to beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Echo, 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 Echo Park, 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 Park. Believe it or not, in 1892, they named this park Echo Park because all the echoes they heard during the construction. True story. Echo Park is a densely populated neighborhood with over 45,000 residents in central Los Angeles. I really like those old houses with the fire letters. Looks pretty cool to me. Around 1910, the motion pictures company used this park for a lot of motion pictures. 2003, National Security was filmed here with Martin Lawrence. You see the buildings in the background? And this is where Danny Trejo was standing in the movie La Vida Loca, right here in Echo Park. The bridge you see in the background has been in many, many movies. In 1992, one of Stallone's not really the best movies, it was Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. He was sitting with her in the park right in front of that bridge. In 1974, director Roland Polanski was doing a movie called Chinatown here with Jack Nicholson. Of course, the bridge in the back is not the original one. They replaced it with this one. But Charlie Chaplin, Oliver Hardy, and Stan Laurel were filming lots of episodes in Echo Park. Right around this area, they also filmed a few episodes of the TV show Gilligan Islands. This place is well known for its natural habitat. You can see swans, geese, fish, turtles. You can see the lily pads. And it's really famous for their lotus flower too. And you see beautiful downtown Los Angeles in the background. Which one is German and Venice gonna take today? In the mean, the mind, the moo, and raus bis du. This one is gone, so I'm taking this one. The Jetson. It started around 2019 when there was a significant population of homeless people living in tents right here in the park. If I tell you, you won't believe it. You have to see it to believe it. It seems like it tripled. Echo Park has been infamous for being a hotspot for gang activity. That was definitely true in the 80s and 90s and then they cleaned up the park. In 2011, they closed the whole lake down. They drained the water and filled it up with clean water. Everything was renovated and reopened in 2013. The whole ordeal cost $45 million for the renovation. The park is a beautiful oasis and a great place for family outings. There's picnic places, you can go out on a paddle boat and a lot of other activities. But it looks like now, because of the homeless, Everything is gonna get ruined again. I did not encounter any problems with any of the homeless people, but I don't think it's safe for kids to come down to the park and play here. And for sure, I'm not recommend to come here at night at all. No camping, no lodging, no storage. This park was declared as an LA culture monument. It is the oldest public park in Los Angeles. They try to keep the park clean with removing all the graffiti from the trash cans and they do whatever they can do to make it look a little better. Here we got the Queen of the Angels, formerly known as the Lady of the Lake. She watches the lake. It is still beautiful and quiet down here. You can sit in one of those benches and just still relax. Most of the people, they stay in their little community. You can see how the population of homeless people grow in your city. But if you drive around in different parks and different areas, you see how many homeless people there really are. You never really pay attention, but now that I've done a few of videos of homeless encampments, I see homeless people everywhere I go. And I can't really see an ending. I think it's just getting worse and worse. There is a Salvation Army truck that comes here and gives out free food to the homeless people. I think they got refreshments, they got clothings. Like little bags. It 
It looks like urban camping, but no, people live here. That's their house. Affordable housing means community self-determination. They got public restrooms right in the beginning of the park. Paletas, papita, tamales. I was pretty shocked when I saw a lot of young people living in those tents. And how do you actually get out of a situation like this? You don't have no job, you have no money, you have no place to stay. How do you motivate yourself to do something and to get out of this situation? I mean, the park ranger don't enforce anything right now. And if they want to enforce something, there's always activists that try to stop it. And those homeless people know that nobody enforces anything, so they live kind of large here. But the day will come where they actually have to move. And where are they gonna go? Too bad you can't really walk over the bridge. Look how beautiful this is. Where else can you get a suntan in February? I think that says it all. Please do not feed the birds. I have never been on one of those pedal boats. Let's check it out. I'm doing it. It's unbelievable what I do for YouTube. Well, I must say thank you very much. Without you, I would have probably never done it. And it is a lot of fun, but it's also a good exercise. Thank you guys. I think being homeless in Echo Park or MacArthur Park or Venice Beach is way better than being homeless in downtown Los Angeles. Here you still have a really beautiful view. You look right onto the water. It really reminds me of a campground when I was in Germany on the weekend we used to go camping. the chucks over the line on the palm tree so I'm here with Mario hey and Mario what are you doing here today um, I'm helping pass out some masks and we got some hand sanitizers here. I'm here with uh, City Hall Sessions. Um, it's a nonprofit um, trying to help out the people just do what, just trying to do what the city needs, you know? Yeah. Well, I appreciate your service and thanks for coming up to me and uh, you actually spotted me. You recognized me from my video, so. German in Venice, this is the guy, man. This is the guy right here. I am? I've seen different organizations and different people donating food to the homeless people, clothing. So they're getting what they need and they really need some help right now. We all have a hard time. This lake is a man-made lake and it used to be a reservoir in the early days. Look how big this tent is here. So for couch, tables. At least one thing is better being homeless in Los Angeles than anywhere else is because of the nice climate we have here in Los Angeles. It's almost warm all the time. So we got a shopping cart from Home Depot. I read that they have about 40,000 homeless people in Los Angeles. And there's gonna be an increase for sure soon.
community garden. This garden is made for the community. They got flowers, onions. food here. I'm guessing I'm not the only one doing this story. community garden it's nice to hear the birds singing be love they do have some vendors out here they got the bacon wrapped hot dogs they get elotes Mm, mm, mm. You see a lot of campers here too on the street. It is a pretty cool view though when you wake up in the morning. They do have a cleanup crew. Looks like the birds don't like this tent. They even got free electricity right here. It looks like they're building some showers. Yep. Could be a shower. This guy is pretty smart. He had some solar power panels right here earlier. Then he put some reflection there so the heat is not gonna come into his tent. And he got his own shower. Pretty sufficient if you ask me. I guess if you're hungry, you can just come here and pick whatever you like. They have a church meeting here and they also give out free vegetables. I like that chair. I had to get my little drone out to show you like a different perspective. It looks a little different when you see it from higher up.
I love LA. Look at this view. It's really hard to understand. Here you are at Echo Park, you see all the homeless people. And if you just go on a 10 freeway, you be in Beverly Hills in 10 minutes and you see all those really, really rich people. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from Echo Park, Echo Park, Echo Park. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Tschüssing!